button yeah, button me? Oh, okay, cool. Bro, my stairs are steep. Dang. Thank you. <laughs> There's the rocking chair that rocks yeah, by itself. Nice. Don't move. That's don't. the rocking chair. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Stair stepper. That's good. I think I'm good. <clears throat> Here's the wall. All right. Now that's weird. So most of us here know the story. <laughs> I think there's only a few of the people here that don't know it. Who, Barb? You haven't heard the story of this? No. Okay. <clears throat> Didn't you say you had an orb downstairs? Didn't you get a picture of one? I don't know if I did. I did. We get orbs like every time we yeah. come here. See, there's one in the corner there right now. Oh, yeah. Where? Show show Sarah the waitress. Where did my pen go? I have one you can use, but you have to return it. It's not going to stay to him in a full white room. No, no, that's okay. It's just going to what happened to my pen. Do you have my pen? No, sir. That's all right. I'm done with it. It's kind of fuzzy, but you can see it's got like an outside of it. I can't stand it. It's hard, I don't want to get any reflection on Well, I've been running around like crazy. Oh, and I'm filming right now. Okay. Is this it? Is this everybody? I don't know. Yeah. I thought we had more people than this. Mike hasn't come up yet. Okay, so Sarah, that was Dell's room, number eight. And okay, I know one was in number eight, the other was in number four. Okay, now what's the deal with the room? Well, Charlie, when she died up here, as far as the stories go. And um, he, believe it or not, um, oh, there they are. Okay. Well, the, the way the story goes is that Charlie Wunchi fell in love with a woman who more or less rejected him. And to the day he died, he was in a state of heartbreak over her. And from what I understand, he died in room number four. Right here. Or number oh, two. Oh, this is two. Sorry. Four is all the way down here. Okay. Four's down there. Oh, down there. Yeah. I think that, yeah, there's four right there. Okay, and across the hall was his brother's room, Del, Del Wunchi. Um, all the stories say that it's Charlie haunting the place, not Del. Um, that's basically it for this. Do you have anything to add? <laughs> When I've been up here before doing research, the only really good orbs I got were around the rocking chair, and it mm -hmm. was when the rocking chair was rocking itself. I have seen it rock itself. And um, I've, I've taken lots of pictures up here in the, in the dining area. It's got nothing. Nothing. Yeah, now see, the first time Jamie and I came here, there was a... Uh, um, we, we parked in back. And when we got out, we noticed a woman walking past the windows back there. And when we came in, of course, we did the upstairs tour and everything. I asked the waiter if anybody had been up here, and he said absolutely not. They had all been downstairs tied up. Yeah, so we did see that. Now, uh, and I'm going to speak for somebody else. Gabriel, the organizer for HSPE. He has a video that I saw of a figure walking and stopping and staring out the window of number four there on the corner. From outside on the street, he shot this video, and it's obviously somebody walking up to the window and looking down, and then walking away. The place is closed. There was nobody here. The building was empty. Um... Yeah, yeah. Um, it's okay if they walk through the dining room, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go. Go. Go for it. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, they were just telling me the, dining, the back dining area was added in 1983. 
Which one? Yeah. This? This was added in the 80s. This is the wall. This is the last room. Right here. Yeah, this was a room right here. This was number four right here. Oh, this was number four. Okay. Okay. Did someone, did someone die in this room? Because I just I, I saw a soul run around in here. Hmm. Y'all come on in here and shoot some photos. Oh yeah. See, got the clipboard. Did anybody not sign in? I did. Oh, it's okay. I got you. Where we supposed to sign? Oh, you didn't sign. I, I don't have a pen anymore. Well, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, something happened to my pen. I've got the batteries in my pocket if you need them. Okay, that is why Rose sitting there. It's not an apparition. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a shadow person in my camera. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, now one thing I noticed, I think it's that corner. If you shoot it just right, the flash will bounce off the varnish and it'll look like an old man's face. I've gotten it like three times. Oh, thanks. What well, I just experienced, it was my intuition working at fast speed, and the only way that can happen, with, I guess, with, with, with any of us, is that you really have to get into it. You have to basically expel any disbelief, otherwise it ain't going to happen. I mean, you got to really tune in and zero. Just run with it, follow your thoughts. Oh, gosh, yes, please. Uh, 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 ghosts are as real uh, as, 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 as you and I are. And I'm, I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to put religion on anyone, but, 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 but I'll just say this. Uh, the Lord Christ Jesus, or whoever you uh, say is your spiritual leader, um, they're more real than you, and then some, and 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 and, and their world it, it, it is here with our world. They're right here uh, among with us, and the key is to try and it's to try and basically uh, 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 basically fall back the veil and just look at them and see. Them. I'm not trying to yell. It, it, it's just that I've, I've, I've done it so much that, that, that uh, my intuition just throttles big time. I, I wasn't trying to scare anyone when I, when I kind of stormed out, 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 out the door, but uh, I'm not going to let any ghost uh, take me down the way I took the way I took him down two months ago. Uh, I, that, that was too much for me. So Charlie try, try, try wanted to fight. I fought him back, you know, and, and, and he got scared of me. But 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 he's never gonna he's never he's never gonna hit I mean he's never gonna hurt that girl again because she, she's gone. Charlie, adios amigos. You're out of here. She looks like that girl. She likes that girl. That's what she looks like. He heard me and he's he's he's, he's back off again. Well, Charlie, whatever, dude. Just just just, just get out of this restaurant. You're history. And if, if you're gonna, if you're you gonna don't want him to child, get rid of the ghost. Then, then <laughs> I hope you don't I hope you don't ever uh uh. If, uh, somehow become a human being or whatever because you and I are going to dance. I will not. I will not stand for any adult hurting a child because you because you and I will dance. I'm tired of this. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not tired of this. I'm just trying to get on my nerves. Whoever who, who, who he was in life, he just. I'm glad I'm glad he's dead uh, because he was a really bad person. Oh gosh, Charlie, you're a bad person. Was he? I, I never heard that though. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the establishment would appreciate Charlie leaving. No. <laughs> Y'all about ready to do the tour? Let's head outside. Okay. We've passed the post office. We passed the bank. Next stop is Doring Court. Doring Court, also known as the Cat House, 
as in cat family, not as in whorehouse. And it's also known as spring souvenir. It's also known as the spring newspaper headquarters. It's been everything. It's and I have notes on that, believe it or not. Now, this whole courtyard has always held something for me. I don't know what the deal is with these courtyards, but I don't know. Are y'all going the right way? I think it's over to the right here. I wouldn't go that far. That's not Doring Court, is it? Is it? Okay, yeah, it is. Big sign. Doring Court. Right there. Where? Oh, okay. I just took a picture of it. Cool. Okay. What's up with this place? Okay, Doring Court. This, um... This building in the back here... And, and you might want to take a few shots of this bicycle. It's been here for like decades. I don't know what the deal is with the bicycle, but it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> is this a for rent sign? Okay. Right, see, uh... Wait till a few of them get over here. Okay. I got the story right here. Y'all? Good. Welcome to Doring Court. <laughs> okay, in 1881, Mary Kelly bought this property from Charlie Wunchy. The house was built in 1917, that's this structure in front, with the barn in the rear. Okay, it was in 1940, the uh, barn was converted into the spring newspaper office. About that time, Henry Doring and his wife, Ella Klein, bought the building and lived here with about four or five children. One of those children was Marilyn, Marilyn Doring. Her friend, known only as Sarah, little 12-year-old girl, her and her friend Sarah were out here playing one day when Sarah fell off this over overhang up here and fractured her leg okay um, that didn't kill her but she was laid up and she actually took a bed in the barn while she was recovering um, she contracted blood poisoning and died well ever since 1940 there has been many reports of apparitions and the voice of a little girl hollering Sarah has been heard in this courtyard. Um, it's just the ghost of a little 12 year old girl. That was that name I got up there. Sarah seems to be a very popular name around here. Yeah. But um, while th this has been the newspaper office uh, going on 60 years now, uh, Randy Woods was actually the editor of the newspaper for a while. He said that in his office here, very often, he'd hear whispers, hear children laughing, and often saw things move on his desk. <laughs> so, I've also gotten some pretty good orb shots around that red oh. barn there. That seems to be... Huh? Orb or reflection? Hmm. It's hard to say because it's right in front of glass. Yeah, ask Fiona. Where's Fiona? Oh. Orb or reflection? No, first. 
I'm just jamming. Do you need batteries yet? No, I'm waiting. <laughs> I got pictures of all this. I'm you just know, waiting to move on. Last time we came down here, which was quite a long time ago, about a year ago mm -hmm. or more, that place was for rent. It's still for rent. Yeah. Now this is for rent. Yeah, the, the rent is high here. Oh, really? Yeah, and in these days, it's hard to make that kind of money. Okay, that's what it is. I wanted to rent us an office over here. I know you're talking about that. Wouldn't it be cool? Mm -hmm. Well, the place I had my eye on is a little two-story garage type deal down there. I saw it's already turned into a boutique, though. This whole area is all commercial. There is no residential here at all. Okay, I'll remember that actually. And our next stop will be Whitehall. No, no, no. Whitehall. No, no. <laughs> I'm never going back to Whitehall. The infamous Whitehall. Oh my god. <laughs> things exciting than you people. See, I move a lot quicker than Randy Woods does. I mean, he'll get you here and he'll hold you up for a half hour at each spot. Well, when I was 20 years old. Well, they're still helping during business hours. They get just helping people go shopping. Now. Right. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and on the way to Whitehall, I'll stop and show you the hanging stump of Old Town Spring. Cool. <laughs> the hanging stump. <laughs> yeah, it became the stump, I think, in 2001 or 2002. Oh. The, the tree got diseased and they had to bring it down. I had been looking, when I first moved here, I went looking for it. We, we couldn't find anything that we thought was for sure it. And so. I think, I heard a rumor that the stump even got pulled. So now it might just be the hanging <laughs> pothole of Old Town Spring. The hanging jerk match. <laughs> <laughs> I need Kim for a second. Well, they got sidetracked by this wad of, like, grass and mud and stuff that was sitting on the tables that looked like a bird's nest or something. Ooh, it got cold out here. I'm trying to remember, is that corner Whitehall or is it that corner behind us? I think it's that corner behind us, huh? Well, it's, it's up. I know it's one block up. I think it's a block behind us and up. Okay. Good job. How are you doing, Gary? Ah, thank you. Much better than last time. So you got a <laughs> I know, just wave the clipboard around and say y'all are loud. Speak in a loud voice, hold the clipboard. Kim. Is, is that the corner for Whitehall or is it that corner behind us? It's over there. The more to where? Yeah, that way. This way? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's this way. Pey Peyton had to go home. He told everybody to have a nice evening and thanks for coming and all that. Wasn't it? That was incredible. I know. The way my finances are right now, I couldn't have been able to do this tonight if it weren't for him. <laughs> I think it feels really good out here. I love winter. I'd rather deal with cold and hot. I know. Where will I get inside tonight and I won't be able to say a word? <laughs> yeah, it is. It really is. The last time we tried to do Old Town Spring, it was right about this time the rain started. And, we, and it was kind of off and on, so we said, well, let's go to the cemeteries anyway. Maybe it'll break up. We get out to Spring Cemetery and it was like all hell broke loose <laughs> out of the sky. I mean, we had lightning striking trees in the cemetery oh and stuff. How yeah. Funny. Uh, well, it wasn't funny at the time. <laughs> People were actually running to their cars. There's Gentry Square. I think... Is there a story with that? Um, there is. Randy has the story on that. I couldn't find it on the net. Yeah, he does a really good job, and it's worth the $10. If you ever decide to go on the Randy Woods tour, it's definitely worth the $10. But be prepared to walk for about two hours, <laughs> at least two hours. 
Okay, what you have up here on your left is what's known as Whitehall. This one or the up and down or it's all? The um, whole shebang whole is Whitehall. And um, this, this was Springs first Victorian. It was its first two-story mansion. Built in 1895 at a whopping cost of $300. And in 1895, I guess 300 was more like 300 grand today, you know. But um, <laughs> it was um, it was bought in the 1920s by the Klein family, and it became the Klein family home. The Kleins, as in Klein ISD and Klein Road and Bank of Klein and Klein High and <laughs> well, anyway. The story associated with this place, in 1933, there was a young couple, newlyweds, very much in love. They, um, they uh, were, if you're not familiar with the area, behind Old Town Spring is a road called Riley Fuzzle Road. It's very dark at night, and back then it was even darker because there were no street lights. But they were driving down Riley Fuzzle and got distracted carrying on you know cutting up and uh they actually drove off the bridge and to their deaths well when they were found a day or two later they were brought here to whitehall funeral home like i said this place has been many things it's been the klein family home it's been a funeral home in the 70s it was even a hippie commune and it was then that it was really on the brink of, of being condemned and torn down. Uh, the hippies really trashed it. But um, like I said, it was a funeral home. And in 1933, that's where they brought the bodies of these two lovers. Well, they, this rear area was the embalming area. Anyway, it is said that ever since that night, the, t the couple of lovers had been seen up on the upstairs balcony, swinging in the swings, dancing, and they've even been spotted in this gazebo here across the street. Uh, it's just been a recurring thing. There is also, in one of these trees, a pecan tree, I believe it's this one, the remnants of a tree house. It may not even be anything left now. But the local kids here used to claim that every time they went up in the tree house, the ghost of a man and a woman would shake the tree and scare them to death until they left. But um, I'm, I'm wondering if there's anything left at all up here. I don't really see anything. That is a pecan tree, though. If you notice, this back screened in area, the owner collects doves. It's full of white doves. Yeah, they'll, they'll be quiet while I'm talking, but if we all stop and start taking pictures, you'll hear them again. This house is also home to Spring's bat colony of brown bats who um, act as the local exterminators, swooping up all the mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> But it's not unusual at all to see brown brown bats flapping the around this right area. Huh? Yeah, there you go. 1930s funeral home, 1940s apartments, 1950s church, 60s hippie house, 70 apartments, 1950s church, 60s hippies, 70s commercial. <laughs> Lynette, this ties yeah, into your book about the 1900 hurricane. Oh, does it? It mentions the 1900 storm in Galveston. Okay, I'm going to stop this for a it's second. Yeah, y'all. Okay. Next stop, museum. Yeah. Not better museum? No, the Old Town Spring Museum. Okay. Because they got the Confederate Museum on down there a little bit. Where is it? About a block that away, almost right behind the fire station. Oh, uh, that's too far for us to all walk, huh? Yeah. 
it's just stories about that Confederate museum. Every time they do one of their Civil War reenactments, mm -hmm. right. they stir up ghosts, apparitions, and voices are heard. Oh. Uh huh. I'll email you the link to all the stories I got on this place. Great. That would be wonderful. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, um, when I w was talking to people in the uh, Atlantis, um, they were telling me about some time a few years ago where the Longhorn cattle were being in displayed in town in a pen. Oh. And they somehow, nobody has ever understood why, but somehow the, the cattle got loose and they went running down the street. And the woman who was telling me the story, she said it was really weird because you saw things that you knew weren't really there. Hmm. It was like a, it was like it was a, a like, time thing happening right. where um, you know you were suddenly seeing things that had been there in the past as the cattle went through. Right, right. So okay. I that was a, that was an odd one to, okay. to hear out of the blue. Yeah, that is odd. That is odd. But you can see that porch swing up there. Mm -hmm. That there, yeah. I've seen several references to a ghostly couple rocking in that swing. Uh-huh. We're gonna be heading back this way. Take your time though if you know. Wow, it's like winter out here. <laughs> Are you sure this is April? It's really cold, I'll go Oh, it's okay. They can take their time. Keith! <laughs> Keith! <clears throat> My camera for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think, I don't even think, I think they tore down the stump. Yeah, that's what I was telling Fiona. I'd heard they pulled the stump out, too. Somebody's burning firewood. You smell it? Um, but that is this way, isn't it? I smell a fireplace burning sassafras. Okay. Well, you know, Kim has a, a pocket full of herbs on her. Oh, that might be what it is. <laughs> okay. And I just got a big lung full of diesel. Diesel? What is that? I don't have a pocket full of this time, but I'm going to Oh, okay. <laughs> Speaking of, isn't that shop up here? Yeah. What is it called? Back over there, but there's an herb shop right here. I think. Right. Yeah, nature solution. Okay. They've got the essential oils and, and do they have bulk herbs? I don't know. They carry aromatherapy items. Nature's so, solution. Back over on the next side. Yeah. There's Randy right there. Randy. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Busted. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Somebody told him there's a tour going on. <laughs> oh Lord. I feel sorry for the old guy, you know. Yeah. Okay, they moved the piano. It was sitting right there where Indian yeah. Sun is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was where the old piano was. Well, they probably move it back in when they close up shop. Yeah, well, the, the for the longest, they were leaving it out there around yeah, the they, they left it outside all the time. Yeah, I mean, and it wasn't in the greatest shape. It was in terrible shape. <laughs> leave it out. Yeah. yeah they left it outside in Texas. Mmm, I know. Have we passed the Old Town Spring Museum? No. Uh, no? No, it's going to be straight through from here. Okay. And in fact, I'll just show you up here where I've gotten some really good orbs by okay. that Masonic Hall or whatever it is that's just, just oh, in okay. the block or so. Okay. I think that's a street word. Wow. Look how they have the stairs and the floor painted in this place. Isn't this amazing? Wow. Oh, you wow. think it's a rug. Mature uh, help it's wanted. Painted. That is so cool. That is nice. They've got stones yeah. painted on the and floor. And up there it looks like a pink rug, old time rug coming down the stairs. Cool. That's beautiful. Look at that woodwork. Yeah. Well, it's all Amish. Oh, man. 
I want that dinette set. Okay, by the Masonic Hall, there's the space, the, the space between the Masonic Hall and this rustic charm thing. I now, have gotten scads of orbs. Here. Well, that's where that little building is that's, that he talks about. That's where the Zwink House yeah, was. Yeah, that's it. That's the Zwink House. Zwink House oh, yeah? The yeah. legendary Zwink House sat there, and right across the street is where the hanging stump was. So does it all come together and make sense now? <laughs> now it makes sense because we, we, we just, you know, Todd and I just came here and we just wandered around, but I got a bazillion orbs. I mean, this was like the hottest spot in town. Yeah. was right here. Oh, the, the Mason Lodge? No, right oh. right here. This is everywhere. Oh. Right here. This is everywhere. And I, I, I didn't know what it was. Jamie, try to keep up. <laughs> 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 yeah, this right here is the site okay. of the zinc house. Now what was that? Well, Hi. I'll tell you. This is was the hottest spot. It is. It really is. Oh, I okay. Right. Yes. <laughs> I don't have any dates, but this pad site right here, mm -hmm. originally the Zwinks okay we're a family of german farmers they had a farm about four miles west with the farmhouse the barn everything else well um i don't know why what or how but the farm was closed the barn was demolished and the house was moved here to this pad site well <laughs> It was only here for a few years, and I don't have any dates. I'm imagining the 30s, 40s, maybe 50s. Mm -hmm. But um, during its stay here on this pad site, there was at least one murder in the house. The big rumor on the net is that it was a little girl that was murdered here. Um, so ever since then, the site has been haunted. Now, since then, and it was only a few years ago, I think in 2001, 2002, they pulled the Zwink house out and moved it back to Tomball. So it's actually sitting, I think, off of, I don't know, Kim, Kim's seen it. It's over off 2920, I believe, in Tomball. But since they moved it, there's been apparitions, sightings, and orbs and all kinds of phenomena happening at the house at its new location now. Yeah, so whatever it is, it's following the house. But there's stuff that stayed here because, I mean, I didn't know any of this, and every time I come up here, I take pictures here because this is where I get most of my orbs. Well, you know, it all ties in because where they're standing over there mm -hmm. at one time was the little courthouse, and in front was the hanging tree. Which was in 2001 became the hanging stump, and which a few months ago became the hanging pothole. <laughs> oh, it is okay. Yeah, but no, what I, it was a couple of. Uh, what the, I can't even think of the word I'm trying to. Think License of. plate. Yeah, well, no, it was a couple of white guys. They had the black guy one night. Oh, no. oh okay, okay. And when so they took we're not an official courthouse thing. Up. And the license plate came off and stuck it, stuck it in the tree for years. They caught it. Right. That way. That's right. That's right. Oh, that was the <laughs> so it, it was kind of a hate crime. Yeah. They hung, hung a guy in this tree and they backed up to the tree from what she was saying and their license plate got stuck in the tree. <laughs> they were trying to take off and they mm. threw it in the wrong gear. Right. Oh, okay. But they cut the tree down because of the fire station. The size oh, of it and stuff, the overhang. Okay. So, and right okay. here you have the Masonic Lodge, which then, you've gotten. Yeah, I, well, I get my orbs in here. This is where I, I always get Just to the right of it, and, and all this area is where I get orbs, but I also get them in the field that is right over there, which is across from the Civil War Museum. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it was up this. No, it's right here. It's right here? It's easy to get turned around here at night. I just know that that field over there is where that wind... Ooh, that wind cuts right through you, doesn't it? Okay, so we have something in that. You're doing camp over there. And even now, it's 
great for orbs. This is like, that's okay. the other hot spot. Okay. <laughs> so this is Times Square. Okay. Now, you better. This is where they do the reenactment. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. But, uh, yeah, get pictures across the street <laughs> on over there. <laughs> Is this place actually open? Times Square? Uh, no, I think all these places are vacant. Right? <laughs> Last time I came down here at Tranquil Times, I had to park down here, and all this is closed. Okay. <laughs> hey, puppy. So this area is where the Civil War Museum is. Right. Every year they do some kind of Civil War reenactment. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. So from here, I'm going to go by Puffa Valleys and then we'll call it. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. I love it. I got my armor on. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you warm enough? I got Are you taking pictures? Okay. We're standing right here and it wipes everything in front of us. It's haunted by uh, somebody that, some guy that walks with a light. Puffa Bellies. Yeah, Puffa Bellies. That's the headless uh, signal one, right? Right. Night, she's trying for the flower shots. <laughs> Her album's full of flowers. She does really good flower shots. Yeah, um, all right. <laughs> ah. Officially rename it Cold Town Spring. Cold Town Spring. Don't worry, you know what? In two months, it's going to be in the triple digits over here. Oh gosh. That quick. And you won't see me walking around. I only do these tours when it's cold. I do not do heat tours. What was the house called? Was it Color Silly? The Zwink. The Zwink but house. But I mean, what was the shop in it? Priscilla's? Shop. It was a shop in the <laughs> house at one time, wasn't there? That in the... used to be in here? No. 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 no it was always a house. It was always a residential house. But I mean, house. oh, okay, nobody lived in it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And while it was here, there was a murder. Okay. But now it's relocated to, I think it's off 2940 somewhere. Yeah. Right? Over in Tomball. Okay, is there a shop here, or did it burn? There was a fire. I can't remember exactly. Y'all, veer to the left. Veer to the left. <laughs> that looks pretty good. I want that left. Right. <laughs> I'm steering from the rear. I'm used to leading from the rear. Don't go there, Keith. Okay. I was, I was, I was just getting ready to come in. Don't even try to psychically probe that one. <laughs> oh, there's no psychic probing in, man. That's not just out of place. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I just don't like being accused of leaving people behind. You don't like being left behind either, do you? Well, that's why I stay in the rear. <laughs> stop, Keith, stop! <laughs> okay, is, is y'all slow down a minute? Slow down. Hold up.
Okay, you can't see it, so don't even bother getting up on the porch. But in this shot, there is a, a Victorian painting of a really beautiful lady. But the story is, no matter where you go in the shop, her eyes are always on you. Always, without fail. And the owner of the shop actually will not let anybody take pictures of the painting. Uh, I guess they're afraid the flash will wear out the paint or whatever, but... But it's, it's a pretty interesting thing. If you're ever here during business hours, it's something to check out. Up ahead here, we have puff bellies Puffabellies has a couple of stories associated with it and I gotta set the record straight because there's a lot of myths about it too. Look, Masonic Temple. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, the story of Puffabellies, this was, this was not the actual site of Spring Railroad Depot. A lot of people say it was, but it wasn't. Spring Depot was on the other side of the railroad tracks, right across from Wunchy Brothers. But it is true that the three depots that were here burned down to the ground. And when they brought this one here, this was actually the depot building from Love Lady, Texas. You know that story, huh? So, this depot building was the old Love Lady Depot and moved here in 1985. Opened in 1994 as Puffabellies. It was actually built in 1902. That puts it at the exact same age as Wunchy Brothers. Um, the thing. Right. Yeah, it's not original. Right, right. I, yeah, already been there. <laughs> Um, the story associated with this building doesn't come from Spring, it comes from Love Lady, where it originally sat. And there was a railroad engineer working the, the depot one night when he noticed that one of the locomotives was coming down the tracks the wrong way and headed for another locomotive. He frantically went out to the tracks screaming, hollering, waving his lantern, and uh, trying to get the engineer's attention, he tripped on the tracks, and the train ran over him, decapitated him, mangled him, and well, ever since then, there's been sightings of this ghostly engineer waving a light, and even the light has been seen by itself. That story followed Puffabelli's on its move over here. And it's been said that the same ghostly lights swinging on the railroad tracks have been seen out here, as well as the apparition and, and screaming of an old engineer. Yeah, it was originally a love lady. Right, covered that. <laughs> yeah. I've actually been to love lady. There's nothing there. Right, and you know what I found out? There. I researched these stories. The original Spring Railroad Depot wasn't on this spot. It was across from Wunchies, across the railroad oh, tracks. Okay. And it burned down over there. This spot was just vacant lot. Yeah. And then, well, yeah, and they brought the, the depot here and then it burnt down, so there's nothing original. Okay. They do have some really nice bands down here, though. And that concludes <laughs> the Cold Town Spring Tour. Okay. Round of applause for Elmo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, actually, uh, y'all hang on, hang on a second. Slow down, we don't want to wind up another apparition in Old Town Street. <laughs> you got it? Thanks. It's not that bad. Yeah, it is. Is it real bad? They're sinking out there. She said she's sinking. Are you sinking out there? <laughs> All right, scratch this one. Spring Cemetery, here's the sign. Yeah, but there's, they say it's a swamp. Careful, Keith, it's a swamp.
Well, we've always got Mushki. <laughs> That's the one uh, behind the pet potato patch on 1960. You go right down Aldine Westfield to 1960, and then you just follow Aldine Westfield turns into uh, Hirschfield, and then you have Mushki Cemetery Road. Yeah. You want to go to Mushki? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, yeah, well, you just think up the eyeballs up here. Come on. We're going. We're going to another place. Yeah, this this one's it's too, too swampy muddy. and muddy. We have to go. <laughs> I bet you do. Probably mosquitoes. Watch out. Mike, look at. You want to take a picture of the? Of the it wasn't muddy over there where I stepped out of the church. Yeah, I want to take a picture. It is bad. <laughs> well, well, we're gonna try. Oh. Yeah, they are. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm smushing their holes. Oh, they're nothing but food anyway. <laughs> Crawdad's out here. Yeah, and somebody's been driving through here too. I just saw one run. Did? Yeah. Yeah. These aren't the kind you eat though, are they? Yeah, if they get big enough. There's some mist out here. I'm looking in your light. Yeah, this is um, this is a cemetery where where the internet renowned Ecto Man has been spotted. What is By a ghastly ghost hunter. Kathy Bunn. Oh, the EVP she got know. was here, wasn't it? That yeah. Was no, one. the one that says Mike and stuff? Yeah. That was at Tom Boston, this, too. This oh. place is renowned for good EVPs, Acto, Mist. Yeah, I, wow. one of my best Ectos was right over there. Yeah. But it was before all that. the lights were. Wasn't this where you got that tracer, okay. that light tracer? No, that was in Woodlawn. Well, it's very oh, strange. Okay. Is there off I-10 right and up Right Wong? against the threshold of the dead. And here's this parking lot. Yeah. There's this dimensional warp and we're in this square full of trees and graves. Well, and yet there's this we'll perfect see, light. until about two years ago, that was completely wooded and this place was pitch black at night. Yeah, I remember that. First couple of times I came here. Road right here. It was yeah. nice Cemetery back before road. all that. Oh, way. I know, it was. And there's really a road back there that dead ends, you said? It, it dead ends here at the cemetery. It dead ends at the cemetery, like most cemetery roads. But yeah, what I was telling them about the cemetery, this place has a history of knocking people around. People have gotten slapped here, pushed down on their backs. Um, there's been voices recorded here. Um, there's one ghost hunter on the internet known as the Ghastly Ghost Hunter. Her name's Kathy Bunn. She did a whole write-up on this cemetery and about Ecto-Man that supposedly inhabits this yard. And she's gotten pictures of what she calls Ecto. They're like mist. It, it really takes the form of a man. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I wish I had my... Well, I might have my pictures with me. That one, that squirrely one that looks like the cobra? Mm hmm That was right over there. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <clears throat> Check it out. I got me a tripod harness. Yeah. <laughs> You're real cool, Luke. I am cool. Not. <laughs> Get that out of my face, camo boy. <laughs> I think it's where you're holding it. Yeah, that is a problem. I'm having a real problem with that. I don't care. <laughs> this I can't a, hold it any other way. This is a family show. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if it was a family show, we but you know what? If you ask me, the most active area is back here along the fence line. A lot of people have smelled different scents here, and one that hit me back here was rotten wood, mm. like an old rotten coffin, mm. and it hit me right in the face. Other people have smelled like strong flowers. Um, 
I mean, right now it smells stale as hell to me. But if you look right here, some of these trees are growing out of graves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see. That's one. They've cleaned this yard up quite a bit. Watch it. Why don't you carry that camera like a normal person? Because I'm a normal person. And I figure out who was the whole stuff. I don't need to step on it. Because it was See, <laughs> my right arm, I've actually got a muscle from holding this camera up all the time. <laughs> yeah, this tripod gives me good ca camera. I was here a couple, one night alone. I parked my cab right there. And I'm out here, you know, all alone. A cop comes up and just stops and sits there watching me. He sat there for like a good 10 minutes and he finally backed out and left. Oh yeah, people do. <clears throat> All night long, people pull up down here and park. Yeah, I saw the tire track, tire tracks over there. Yeah. So it looks like that section of fence is gone. Yeah. No, that's that. Oh, okay, that's there the it is. Yeah. Cemetery? Which one? Voodoo. Voodoo? Booty. Oh no. B U D D. Uh uh. Where's that? On, off, right off of Loretta and 45. Oh. No. Uh -uh. The only thing is, we couldn't take this many people, we'd get chased off. Yeah. Yeah. But it's got, it's got a bunch of lunches and the clowns and stuff in it. Oh, okay, okay. Where the winches started getting buried after the little freeway. Left. Right. <laughs> this is a little cemetery. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's new. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fall in and black. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Markers, look. This, cr you know, this crater's always been here. That lily's new, though. Oh, there's a wild. Yeah. Some markers or something. Mm. Those are new. I don't remember those being there. Yeah, they are new. They're just stuck in there. Somebody's been out here cleaning up. It used to have the guy's face on it. I don't know who pried it off. Oh, yeah. That big one over here is the one with the funny names. Is it this one?
Well, that's going to be a nice shot. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right here, sunken grave. If you're here, let us shoot your picture. I mean you no harm. Are you here? Make your presence known. Hey, little snake. You're getting your hole. Yeah, I, I sunk about a half foot when I yeah, stepped there. That. <laughs> I left a hole. <laughs> I know it's all uneven over here. <laughs> Watch around that lily right there. That's yeah. where the real crater is. See that lily? They grow wild out in these cemeteries from all the flowers people bring to, you know, they, they seed the cemetery and they grow wild. Mm-hmm. Well, this, this was in miserable shape for many years, this little cemetery. A little association adopted it, and they've been taking pretty good care of it. There's a, you notice that fence? Mm -hmm. When, uh, one chick that used to run the uh, South Texas Ghost Trackers, they've closed up. They're not around anymore. Her and her boyfriend came out here drunk one night and he drove right over that fence. Oh. Yeah, gave us a real bad reputation yeah. for a while there. Because, of course, you know, the cops don't know the difference between groups and whatnot, and they lump us all together. Getting anything? All kinds of shit. Oh yeah? Yeah. I don't have my glasses. I didn't get to get my glasses in the car. But I can see I'm near. Mm, okay. What is that? It's a lily that's growing wild. Oh see? my god, it's pretty. It's mm -hmm. going by itself. Yeah. Oh. Came from somebody's BK. I was out here alone one night. I We used to live right down the road, mm -hmm. so this was like local for me. Yeah. But um, I was out here alone one night, and I had the full rig going. I had my laptop with microphones plugged into it, the camera up on a tripod. And I'm out here, and all was quiet and everything. Then all of a sudden, I just felt like this urgent need to get the heck out of here, you know? Mm -hmm. And I couldn't pack my stuff up fast enough. And I mean, the whole time I'm packing up, I feel like I have somebody on me, right on top of me the whole time, you know? Oh, but for the most part, this is probably one of the quietest cemeteries that we go to. Mm -hmm. Despite its reputation, it's quiet. Mm -hmm. There's a whole cluster of graves over in that corner. Really? Some pretty old markers, too. Only problem is it's right under the lights of that parking lot. Mm -hmm. I think that's where um, Keith said he got a bunch of, like, the mist coming up from the grave. Yeah, yeah. I saw it. His picture's good. Yeah. We're also not here later. Seems like we need to be here about 2 in the morning. Uh, 3 or 4 is best. Right. But you know what? It's really late at night. Even then, like I was telling her, this is one of the quietest cemeteries. Despite its reputation, it's quiet. It confuses me because it looks like something's here, but it doesn't want to come out. Right, yeah. That makes sense. 
they kind of feel that that entrance there, that open gate, is a virtual threshold. Yeah. They don't make all this noise. Oh, okay. Freeway. Even though it's after 1960, it sounds like a highway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it just about is a highway. <clears throat> this is very strange. This is just the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Here's the modern world. Yeah. And here we are. This, this this area is about, this cemetery I think is right about 100 years old. I think we're going to have to go pretty soon. I'm just breathing. We've okay. got a 10 a.m. meeting in the SGI and I've got to stay up and drive all night for the break or not. Oh, man. Well, hell yeah. Go get some rest. Next weekend I'm running back. We might call it after this anyway. We're running low on gas. Come to the event next weekend and see what we're doing. Where is it at? You know where Lakewood Church and Edler Drive is in Southwest Freeway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. We're just right there in the Greenwood Plaza area. Oh, okay. And it's on the website. And I've got a flyer with a map if you need it. Well, email me the link to the website again. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for coming. I sure do appreciate all the help you did and everything. Job. Yeah, thank you, you sir. Better. Next time I'll show you some tricks with a call sheet and a map. Yeah. And you, you code one with a number and then you just do a company move. The ideal way is to put all the cards in, in a staging area and then have people double up and follow you. Right. And then go back to the first site. Yeah, sounds good. That's a good. better way to go. Yeah. And yeah. then you never know when you get to a location whether it's going to wash out. Yeah. Because you're dealing with the graveyard. Property I know, so I that, know. That's the paradox, it? It's a risk we take. But there's enough of them, there's always a back end. You've got to get but no location. Okay. I'm recording audio too.